Prince Viserys Targaryen. Rhaenys, a woman, would not inherit the Iron Throne. Mm. She got disappointed. The Lords instead chose Viserys. Mm. Jaehaerys called the Great Council. Jaehaerys, okay, so he's the one. For he knew the cold truth. He was the current king. The only thing that could tear down the House of the Dragon was itself. Hmm, he knew it, yeah. We've sent nasty. inquiries to the Citadel. It's a small cut from sitting the throne. It's nothing. Whatever it is, it needs to be kept quiet. That doesn't look good. That looks like an infection. Medicine, now we know uh, that's some type of infection. Gotta get that on now. Oh, what are they gonna do? Yo, what the hell? Oh, I just took off a piece of his ass cheek? What? <laughs> Another hand. <laughs> I should sit through it. I like the drums. Ah, come on. Thought they were gonna do one more. Oh! 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 I wonder if this is how we should celebrate the birth of our future king. Yeah. Their lord sent them to the tourney field with fists full of steel and balls full of seed. Mm. Oh! God damn! She's just throwing up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, they went straight to the womb. But obviously it kills her in the process. Because it's too much blood loss, too much trauma, too much pain. I'm surprised she hasn't already died in the process. I don't think the heart would just give out, but it's one strong heart, she has. Yeah, yep, look at all that blood. Prince Damon bought out one of the pleasure houses on the Street of Silk. He toasted Prince Balon to the king's son, styling him the heir for a day. Shit. God damn. Yeah, that pissed her off. I saw how she, how she, Renara grabbed it. She was like, what the, the evening fuck? was by all accounts a celebration. There are power men should never have trifled with. One that brought Valeria, it's doom. Oh. Do the same to us. Okay. Targaryen must understand this to be king. So it was the dragon, the power of the dragons themselves that brought doom to the Valeria. The fire against the ice. Aegon called his dream the Song of Ice and Fire. The Song of Ice and Fire. <laughs> the secret. Woo! Let's go, baby. King to wear since Aegon's time. I love this. I love this. Now you must promise to carry it. That's the dagger. Oh, that's the dagger that kills the Night King. When Arya uses it. Bah! <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We are Bilingo Reactions. And today, we're back with another reaction for you guys, but this time for the series premiere of House of the Dragon. And as many of you Game of Thrones fans may know, or if you don't know, this is the prequel to the entire Game of Thrones series that we witnessed. All of the events, everything that happened from the very start of season one to the very end. This entire series, House of the Dragon, takes place based on the description that I saw 200 years before any of that that we saw in Game of Thrones. And obviously, based on the title, House of the Dragon, it has to do with the Targaryens. But for those of you who may have not watched Game of Thrones and are probably just starting with this series, the Targaryens, from little of what I know, from what I learned in Game of Thrones, watching it just one time, not two times, I ended up learning that they obviously were the ones who came from Old Valeria. At some point in the, t in the history of Westeros, they landed there in Westeros and they dominated 
through their dragons, the power of the dragons that they wielded is what allowed them to take such a stronghold and basically rule Westeros for, I believe, hundreds of years. I don't know if it was just the 200 years that this show is set forth, like before Game of Thrones, so it was just those 200 years, which is quite some time to rule an entire continent, but I'm not entirely sure what their history was, which is what this entire series is about. That was a prequel, was going to go over that period in time of Westeros where the Targaryens were in complete control. And I think we're going to, sh we're going to see it from the very start, I think. Like from when they first landed in Westeros and they began taking control and all the trials and tur tribulations that happened all throughout. All the drama, all the chaos, all the backstabbing, all the revenge. You know, typical Game of Thrones <laughs> type of uh, scenarios. So it's going to be fun. I personally really enjoyed Game of Thrones, except for the last season. Maybe even season 7, but the last season for sure. Even though I started watching it until it was like season 6, yeah. So like season 5 or 6, that's when I began watching it. So I really ended up binge watching like the first couple seasons. And by the time that season 8 came along, even I was disappointed, you know. Even though I didn't watch the series from the very start, I was also disappointed with how... It felt rushed, even though I hadn't read the books. Like, yeah, you just catched on to that. I was like, something about this, it just feels like they just said, all right, let's just wrap things up. Which now, based on information that came out from George R. R. George R. R. Martin, the author of Game of Thrones, the books, or that's not the game, that's not the name of the books, but the books that the show was based off on. Uh, even he admitted recently that his plan was 10 seasons, because... He knew that his story, in order to be it, to be uh, fleshed out in the right way, not feel rushed like how it did at the end, it needed two more seasons. But, you know, especially with the show as expensive as Game of Thrones, HBO was probably like, nah, man, like, that's the end right here. This is it. This is the spot. <laughs> and, you know, overall, we got the ending that we got, and we just got to go with it. That's the thing about sequel series, prequel series, I mean. You already know what happens later on, but it's still very interesting to see the Targaryen history because we've only really just heard about it through Daenerys Targaryen, what she knew based on what her brother told her <laughs> and based on what she learned throughout the years, but that's about it. We don't really know much else, so it's going to be really nice to see it from uh, the point of view of actually being there, like feeling like we're there living that time period, those 200 years before Game of Thrones when the Targaryens were in power. And I haven't read the books, the book that it's based on. I haven't read any of the books at all, actually. So I apologize for that if some of you, some of you get offended from that. But the thing is that I'm just not much of a reader. I've tried. I really have tried. Different types of books. There's only been a few books in my life which I've actually read from the beginning to end. And I just can't get myself that often at all to read. So... Even with the series like Game of Thrones, I really, I really, really enjoyed the first six seasons, even seven. But despite that love for the series, I just, no, I just can't. Like, I don't know. Maybe later on when I get a little older, I'll start getting more into books again. But for now, for now, I apologize for any of you who are really avid readers and prefer the books most of the time. Like, I understand. You know, that's where it comes from. That's where the source material comes from. At the end of the day, we all got to watch and consume what we are comfortable with consuming so i hope you guys understand and most importantly don't forget to like this video if you do enjoy this reaction for house of the dragon and if you're new to the channel subscribe along with enabling notifications that we can be notified of every time that we upload a new video which is not only for this series that we're starting house of the dragon but also for the boys those are the two series I'm doing solo, so it's just me because of the nature of the shows. Too graphic, too violent, and those are things that my mother Ellie just prefers to not watch. And I gotta respect her decision, you know. She's still gonna be coming along with us for The Witcher, the rest of season two, and whatever comes along after season three or four, however many seasons they make, and also the rest of Supernatural. We're gonna keep going till minimum the entire five 
first five seasons, and after that we'll see how the channel is, etc. What current state of life we're at by then, and if everything is well and done, you know, then we'll do all the way up to 15 seasons, because that's a big series. But yeah, I feel like if I lost, it's, as long as we do the first five, we'll be, we'll be good. That's the main story right there anyways. But yeah guys, if you're interested in watching those reactions too with me me and my mom, Ellie, well, feel free to go check them out. They're already here on our channel. The first entire season of, season one of Game of Thrones, I mean, of The Witcher and Supernatural, they're both on our channel already, ready to watch them. Feel free to go and watch them either right now, after this reaction, whatever. I don't mind. You know, just don't forget to hit the like button on this video. The like helps this channel out a lot. We really, truly appreciate that. But now, enough of me talking and more of me watching. Like I said, I'm jumping into this pretty much blind. I really don't know much else about the Targaryens except for what I learned in Game of Thrones, which was not much, so but let's see. Let's see what this prequel series has in store for us. Without further ado, let's get started, guys, with this reaction for House of the Dragon. La Casa del Dragón. Hay que empezar con esta reacción. Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, the king's eldest descendant, and her younger cousin, Prince Viserys Targaryen. Mm. This is where the trouble starts to begin, I'm guessing. They started vying for power for the Iron Throne. The Prince Viserys Targaryen. Rhaenys, a woman, would not inherit the Iron Throne. Mm. She got disappointed. The Lords instead chose Viserys. Mm. Jaehaerys called the Great Council. Jaehaerys, okay, so he's the one. For he knew the cold truth. He was the current king. The only thing that could tear down the house of the dragon was itself. Hmm, he knew it. Yeah. He knew that they themselves would be the, would cause their own downfall. Which they sure did. That's where Game of Thrones picks up. Couple of years, well, like 15 years right after their downfall, if I'm not mistaken. Because you also have the Baratheon War. It is now the ninth year of King Viserys, the first Targaryen's reign. 172 years before the death of the Mad King, Ares, and the birth of his daughter, Daenerys. Yeah. So it's 172 years before, okay, that makes sense. Now we get an exact uh, timeline for it. And it seems like that event right there, that's where it started the conflict, the main conflict between them. When they chose uh, Viserys over, over the other woman. Oh wow. One good thing about this series, this prequel, we're going to get a lot more dragons here. <laughs> we only got three in Game of Thrones, but here I think we're going to get, jeez, I don't know, I'm, 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 I'm estimating at least ten. Gotta, we gotta get at least 10 different friends. We'll see if that's the case though. Oh yeah, King's Landing definitely looks different. That wasn't there, I don't recognize that. Unless it was, and it just looks different in Game of Thrones, but I don't recognize it. Oh, oh this looks just like Dying Hires. that's crazy. Yeah, you Welcome can tell, back. you can tell they're related. Trust your right with pleasant. Cyrax is growing quickly. It should soon be as large as Corexes. Sorex? Okay, so now we know the name of her dragon, Sorex. I ought <laughs> the thing, she had the thing on top to be able to mount him a lot more comfortably. Dianaris just had to just ride him just like that. <laughs> she did not have anything built for them. She was just right on them. The rest of the houses should be here, right? I think they were the ones who came here. And all the houses already existed. All the other houses that we uh, met in Game of Thrones. Like House Stark, Car Stark, House Lannister. Rhaenyra. The Tyrells. Did you sleep? I don't need mothering, Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra, that's her name. 
Someone has to attend you. She's the princess then. Princess Rhaenyra. This discomfort is how we serve the realm. I'd rather serve as a knight and ride to battle in glory. <laughs> she reminds me of uh, Arya in that way. The child bed is our battlefield. Learn to face it with a stiff lip. Yeah, she's not looking forward to that. I don't blame her. I mean, shit. It's painful. <laughs> The growing alliance among the free cities has taken to styling itself the Triarchy. A man called Kragas Drehar has styled himself the Prince Admiral of this Triarchy. Crab feeder? Oh, feeds them crabs? Rhaenyra, you're late. I was visiting mother. <laughs> on Dragonbank? He smelled the dragon on her? <laughs> what the hell? Seriously? Oh, that's crazy. I'm guessing they, they leave off like dogs, they leave off type of smell. Do you think Damon is distracted by his present tasks? And that his thoughts and energies are occupied? No, well, one would hope so, considering the associated costs. So his brother's Damon. I would urge Damon that you not Gary. allow this triarchy much latitude. I'm gonna try my best to remember all these names. Shall we discuss the heirs tournament, Your Grace? Before the games are over, my son will be born. And the whole realm will celebrate. Oh, so that's when that's when his son should be born, okay. There's a boy in the Queen's belly. I know it. Oh. And that's when another problem happens, I'm guessing. So it turns out to not be a boy. It turns out to be a Suppose woman. Through the Red Keep's gates which then causes the same issue that happened in the beginning. Get. Where they gave it to him instead of a woman. So the same thing will happen with him. His daughter will not get chosen. And another issue will occur. Who's that on the throne? Is that her, her father? Oh, that's that. Okay, that's wrong. Mm. Yeah, he's convinced that he's going to be there. I bought you something. Mm, okay, I get it. So he's the brother and he's going to want the throne. He's going to say that he has a more legitimate claim. Turn around. You and I both own a small piece of our ancestry. This is Matt Smith, right, the actor? The one who was, who was also in Doctor Who? When Princess Nymeria arrived in Dawn, who did she take to husband? She's having to learn the history. I feel kind of like her now, <laughs> trying, to, <laughs> trying to learn everything as much as I can. You're worried your father is about to overshadow you with a son. You want him to have a son? You aren't worried about your position? I like this position, it's quite comfortable. Oh, there's faces on the tree? What the hell? I just realized that. She took Lord Maul's Martell of Dawn to husband and burned her own fleet off Sunspear to show her people that they were finished running. She don't care. She, yeah, she's a rebel. She's like, don't worry. She's like, we'll be fine. She's like, you really think they're gonna tell me anything or us? Come on now. Is it healing? It has grown slightly, Your Grace. Ooh. Oh. Oh. We have sent nasty. inquiries to the Citadel. It's a small cut from sitting the throne. It's nothing. Whatever it is, it needs to be kept quiet. That doesn't look good. That looks like an infection. Medicine, now we know uh, that's some type of infection. Cauterization would be a wise course of treatment, Your Grace. Fine. He's like, do it. <laughs> it's like, get it done. As long as I don't have this thing on me no more. Might actually help, but th then again, if it's worse than that, like if it's coming from within, deeper within, oh, yeah, I don't know. When I heard the sound of thundering hooves. Hmm, so he had a dream. That's why he's certain that it's a boy. As the bells of the Grand Sept tolled, and all the dragons roared as one. That's where you got that saying. And all the dragons roar this one. Spare me. That is unpleasant enough. I like that saying. It's a better thing, I'm not gonna lie. Imagine hearing it, imagine hearing it. Ooh. Man. There's always something else to witness. This is the last time. I've lost one babe in the cradle, had two stillbirths and two pregnancies ended well before their term. Wow. I know it is my duty to provide you an heir. And I'm sorry if I have failed you in that I am. She's done. 
And back then they didn't know that it was the guy, it was the, the male who decided what the sex of the child was going to be. It's not the woman. So that means that no matter <laughs> no matter who he slept with, he was just going to keep on having women after women after women. Because that's just in his uh, DNA, in his genes. When I took command of the watch, you were stray mongrels. Now, you're a pack of hounds. Yeah, yeah, he's a lot more bloodthirsty than his brother, Viserys. Which makes sense, he's younger, the crime too, much of every younger. breed has been allowed to thrive. Beginning tonight, King's Landing will learn to fear the color gold. The color gold? Is that his... The, is that the color he's choosing? Because isn't it red for Targaryens? Is that the, isn't that the color of them? That represents their house? Black and red? From what I've seen, that's been their logo. Like a black background and the red dragons. So they just came beating just random people up in King's Landing? Or are they posing as someone else? Jesus. Like for what though? Yeah, this is what I don't like. It's like, what for? I'm starting to not like this dude. Oh shit! They just took off his hand. God damn. Gotta get that on now. Oh, what are they gonna do? Yo, what the hell? Oh, they just took off a piece of his ass cheek? What? <laughs> Oof. Another hand. Damn, dude, that ass chick, I think that's worse. I don't know what's worse. Oh, I'm gonna take a head off, of course. I just chopped them up into like little pieces. It was an unprecedented roundup of criminals of every ilk. Your brother made a public show of it. Oh. That's what he did. Resulting dismemberments when it was done. He was trying to be justice cannot itself. Be allowed to act with this kind of an execution. Impunity. Judge, jury, and execution. That's what he was doing. Yeah. Carry on. You were saying something about my impunity. The watch was enforcing the crown's laws. Wouldn't you agree, Lord Strong? Nobles from every corner of the realm are right now descending upon King's Landing. Do you want them mugged, raped, murdered? Hmm. Much of King's Landing is seen by the small folk as lawless. Okay. I just hope you don't have to maim half of my city to achieve this. Time will tell. <laughs> if only the prince would show the same devotion to his lady wife as he does his work, your grace. Oof. I think my bronze bitch is happier for my absence. Lady Rhea is your wife. Damn. Yeah, he has no respect even for his wife either. You made a vow before the Seven to honor your wife in marriage. I'd gladly give Lady Rare to you. Oh, he's from the High Tower. Okay. Your own lady wife passed recently. He's like, you can have mine if you want, Jesus. You know how my brother makes sport of provoking you? Mm -hmm. Must you indulge him? He knows his brother. He knows that that's just how he does. He likes picking up people, I can tell. Next man. He knows where to poke. Where it hits you, where it hurts. Any further performances like last night's will be answered. He knows he won't do shit. Understood your grace. Yeah, he knows his brother better than anybody else. He knows that he could get away with it. Now I get it. So he's the one that starts that reputation for the gold cloaks. That's why they became so feared by people in King's Landing. In the end, this new city watch might be a good thing. Yeah, he's disappointed. He's like, nah, man. God damn, yeah, that was brutal. I, I get it now. At first I thought he was just doing it just to be messed up. Oh, well, there he goes. He's <laughs> beginning some. <laughs> there goes Damon. Not surprising. Looks like that type, uh, type of guy that enjoys doing this. On the regular. He has too much on his mind. Doesn't let him. What troubles you, my prince? I think he actually does get the throne, right? Right of Caraxes, Wild of Dark Sister. The king cannot replace you. And these are the games that they were talking about, that they were arranging. How many of you have traveled long leagues to be at these games? No serán decepcionados. The news that I am happy to share. 
Queen Emma has begun her labors. That's a he also, yeah. He wanted it to coincide with the man. He's gonna be disappointed once he sees that it's a that it's a female. He shouldn't be, you know. Like you should love your child regardless of the of the gender. But in those times, that was very very important for the heir of the throne. Ooh. This is going. This is a little callback to uh, Game of Thrones, the first episode. They also had one of these. That's when you. That's when we first met the mountain. Princess Rhaenys Targaryen. House I would humbly ask for the favor of the queen who never was. Oh, okay. She was the one that I was hoping to be queen. Cousin. I would gladly take it if I thought I needed it. Yeah, I remember now. They're the ones who were standing in the beginning. It was gonna be between him or her. That's why she's known as the queen that never was. They did a good job in aging them. I didn't recognize her until now. I'm like, oh wait, yeah, that's, uh, that's her. Lady Eleanor is hiding the swollen belly beneath her dress. Lady Eleanor. It was brutal, bro. Jesus, I just straight in that. I'm pretty sure they broke a lot of bones in that. Ribs, freaking right here in your chest. Oh, God. Collarbones, shoulders. All kinds of bones. I should sit through. I like the drums. Come on, thought they were gonna do one more. So that's Damon, right? Prince, yeah. The Prince Damon Targaryen. He's gonna choose the one that he wants to go in battle against. <laughs> High tower, I get it. <laughs> that's what that's what he looked at. Hmm, he's the son of the hand of the king. Okay, I get it. He's the hand. He's doing it just to piss him off even more. I'm telling you, Damon sets up a guy. He just doesn't. He just doesn't let it be. <laughs> he likes to keep on poking. He makes a wound, and he likes to. Poke the wound and keep on making it hurt. I like that, that helmet. That have a helmet too. That's, those are badass helmets. Man, oh man. Those are badass both of them. Ooh. Okay. Oh, he tripped him. I don't know if that's a legal move. He might end up killing him. I don't know if intentionally or unintentionally, but he might end up killing him. If not now, probably later. I think this is foreshadowing. Now, I'm fairly certain I can win these games, Lady Allison. Having your favor would all but assure it. Lady Alice. <laughs> Oh, I get it. <laughs> she's looking at him like, hey. <laughs> she's like, come on, like he's asking for a favor, I gotta give it to him. <laughs> it's gonna help him, don't be mad at me. It's just how things are. <laughs> oh, man. Rick and Damon, he's those type of characters, kind of like uh, Jamie. Reminds me of Jamie a bit. Where like, you can either hate him or love him, but either way, he's a, he's a great character to have in the show. The infant is in breach, your grace. All attempts to turn the baby failed. Your queen is a strong woman. She's fighting with all her might, but it may not be enough. No. Oof. It's all right. It's all right. This is why some women die, man. While giving birth because of this. Not always, not always pretty. We've come to believe that it's 
it's just easy you now. Not easy, but that it's just a matter of them pushing and the bear comes out. Uh, sometimes they push and push and the bear just doesn't want to come out. Oh! 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 I wonder if this is how we should celebrate the birth of our future king. Yeah. Their lord sent them to the tourney field with fists full of steel and balls full of seed. Mm. Oh! God damn! She's just, just throwing up. <laughs> oh! Yo! Holy shit! That's brutal, bro. Damn! In Game of Thrones, they just simply fell. That's it. Melos. Right here, the nah, right here, they just kept going. Like, like they reveled in it. They enjoyed it. We thought Game of Thrones was brutal. This is just. It sometimes what? becomes Other steps up. for the father to sacrifice one or to lose them both. Yeah, that happens. A technique is taught at the Citadel, which involves cutting directly into the wound to free the infant. Mm. C-section. See, cause that's when they were first learning about C-section, but they had no way to control the blood loss. That would happen from it. Or stitching back up, even. Which the worst part. Act now. Or leave it with the gods. Man, he's gonna be upset if he decides to save his child and then it's not a male like how he wished it to be. Ah. See, like pieces of brain just right against a demon Targaryen, Prince of the City. I get it. So it's a tournament, yeah. It's until they get to the end. Oh, this is gonna be, it's gonna be exciting. Woo. Oh, yeah. Oh, I get it. They gotta do it quickly. I see. If they're not fast enough, then the other guy comes and pulls. Woo. What happened? The way they just cut over here. What? What just happened? Mm. Yo. He chose to save her. To bring the baby out now. He chose to save her. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna be upset with that. She's gonna be real upset because she told her that he, she told him that that he couldn't that she couldn't no longer bear another losing another child. I love you. Oh wait, never mind. He's actually gonna he chose to kill her. Okay. Yeah, he chose to save the baby. Never mind, I was wrong. That threw me off the way they cut to it. It's alright. Oh my goodness, they're actually gonna do a C-section. First incision. They just had to hold her down like that? Yo, that's brutal. That's super brutal, bro. Yo! I mean, you gotta make a choice. Oh, shit! Oh, man! This dude just ran me along my rail. Oh, shit! Yo, this show, yeah, I'm really liking this show. La casa del dragón está muy buena. Solo que muy violento. Muy muy violento. Ay, güey. Whoa. I mean, right here I got a roof for game, then I mean, the show is about them. Oh. Ooh. I get it, now it's an all-out battle. I see, that's why they were, that's why they went to the death in the last one. I assumed it was just about who gets knocked off and that's it. No, it's to the death. Jesus. Ah. Uh. Yeah, they went straight to the womb. But obviously it kills her in the process. Because it's too much blood loss, too much trauma, too much pain. I'm surprised she hasn't already died in the process. I don't think the heart would just give out, but it's one strong heart, she has. Yeah, yep, look at all that blood. 
Yeah, they got really graphic with it. They can show you not just how much blood she's using. Ay, aquí también Damon ya está a punto de matar a este pobre. <laughs> pobre. Muchacho. Oh, there's the baby. There's the baby. The first thing he's gonna look for is gonna see if it's a nail watch. Oh! Yo! Yield. Yield. He's gonna kill him either way. It's not his pride. His pride's not gonna let him. Or maybe. Maybe he will, I don't know. <laughs> Seems like he's about to, like, last minute. BAM! Psych. Gods. He's Dornish. I was hoping to ask for the princess's favor. Oh, he's from Dorn. Okay. This is where the Dornish started getting involved, I guess. More and more. Oh, she loved Sir Kristen. Princess. Okay, so I guess he, he did allow himself to to be yielded. I thought Damon was gonna just last minute. Yeah. Congratulations, Your Grace. You have a son. Oh! It is a son? Is he phone number? A new heir, your grace. What? So his dream was right. How is that possible? Had you and the queen chosen a name? Bail. Bail. Said Bail, right? Dijo Bail. So Bail Targaryen. That's crazy. I thought that he couldn't have sons. I swear. Unless it's from another one. Hmm. Well, that would be a twist, right? Mm, she found yeah. Now she knows all the all the all the different people just leaving. She's like, okay. He was born. Hmm. <laughs> this is a Targaryen funeral. Renara, right? Those Viserys and Renara. This reminds me of a hunter's, uh, of a hunter's funeral from Supernatural. Wait, did they both die? Jesus. What? So he did have a son, but they both died. What kind of... Yeah, that's a cruel twist of fate, right? Dracarys! Oh, that's where Daenerys learned that from. Okay, it's the word that they've always used. I'm guessing it means fire. It means fire in... in their language. Or Valyrian. Or, for them, Valyrian. For their now it says old Valyrian. For them, it's Valyrian. Because it was their language. This is the last thing any of us wish to discuss at this dark hour, but I consider the matter urgent. These recent tragedies have left you without an obvious heir. Mm, Damon. If Damon were to remain the uncontested heir, it could destabilize the realm. No one can doubt his ambition. Yeah. He has high ambition. The city watch is fiercely loyal to him. An army 2,000 strong. An army you gave him, Otto. Oof. A half measure, your grace. Yeah. If the gods should visit some further tragedy on you, either by design or design? accident... My brother would murder me. Take Probably. Me Probably. I mean, shit. Damon has ambition, yes. But not for the throne. He lacks the patience for it. Oh. Gods have yet to make a man who lacks the patience for absolute power, your grace. Yeah, basically saying that anybody with absolute power can get corrupted, absolutely. That's essentially what he's saying, and it's true. The king's firstborn child. Rhaenyra. Perhaps we shouldn't break 100 years of it by naming a girl heir. It is the duty of this council to protect the king and the realm from him. He like, I bet they don't even know that he's spying on them all the time. 
eavesdropping. I'll not be made to choose between my brother and my daughter. If we cannot agree on an heir, then how can we my expect a ransom? My wife and son are dead! Yeah, that's tough, man. Chose to save his son and then just for his son to also die. Oof. And through all this turmoil, that's where Damon's gonna take advantage. He's not gonna sit by idly while they try to take away his uh, claim to the throne. Send a raven to Old Town straight away. And it's interesting how that tradition was broken, was upheld until Game of Thrones occurred, where they got three different queens, actually, yeah. They got this Dinaris, obviously, as queen towards the very end, which is for very short lived, but nonetheless. Then they also got uh, the Queen of the North, Sansa Stark. And they also got uh, Cersei Lannister as queen for all as well. <laughs> so they ended up getting three queens. I found myself thinking of your own mother today. How is his grace? Very low. I thought you might go to him. Offer him comfort. In his chambers? You might wear one of your mother's dresses. Yeah, he also recently lost his wife. I get it now, so that's his daughter. The Lady Alison Hightower, Your Grace. Alison Hightower. What is it, Alison? I thought I might come and look in on you, Your Grace. It's very kind, thank you. Uh, I wonder what his intention is of sending her. Right it's there. a favorite of mine. I do know how passionate you are for the histories. Even he feels awkward. He's like, why, why are you here? <laughs> when my mother died, people only ever spoke to me in riddles. All I wanted was for someone to say that they were sorry for what happened to me. I'm very sorry, Your Grace. Yeah, no one's told him that they're sorry, that's true. Everybody's just right away wanted to talk about the succession to his heir, not to his throne, I mean. The king is so there once again. Quiet! The prince will speak! Mm, yeah, they're preparing, you see. Everybody already knows. When, when it's tradition, it's pretty obvious. Everybody will right away know. What's gonna come? Prince Damon bought out one of the pleasure houses on the Street of Silk. He toasted Prince Balon, the king's son, styling him the heir for a day. Shit! God damn! Yeah, that pissed her off. I saw how she, how she, Renara grabbed it. She was like, "What the, the fuck?" The evening was, by all accounts, a celebration. The heir for a day. Did you say it? We must all mourn in our own way, Your Grace. Instead of being by my side or near us, you chose to celebrate your own rise! Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I have only ever defended you! Ten years you've been king, and yet not once have you asked me to be your hand. Why would I do that? Mm, he always expected to be his hand. I see Otto Hightower for what he is. An unwavering and loyal a hand. A cunt! Doesn't protect you, I would. From what? Yourself. You're weak. <laughs> Straight up tells him. And that council of leeches knows it. They all prey on you for their own ends. You are to return to Runestone and your lady wife at once. Wow. By order of your king. Yeah. This is where it starts, the Targaryen Civil War. The official start to it. I mean, yeah, it's tough. In typical Game of Thrones fashion, it's tough. It's hard to take sides because they're both right and they're both wrong in their own ways. Like, he, he completely messed up by doing what he did. Oh, that's what's cutting him. It's the throne. He's getting cut by the throne and he's getting infected. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, this is a skull man. of an old dragon, yeah. Dragon that died. Yeah, look at that, they're not affected by fire. Not like a typical human. It must be their connection to Valyria, since that was a place of magic. Father, 
Valerian was the last living creature to have seen old Valeria before the doom. Hmm. Valerian. Valerian, they call it. When you look at the dragons, what do you see? I suppose I see us. Tell me. Without them, we're just like everyone else. They're a power man should never have trifled with. One that brought Valeria its doom. Oh. Do the same to us. Okay. Targaryen must understand this to be king. So it was the dragon, the power of the dragons themselves that brought doom to the Valyria. Once they started messing with the dragons, using them. Maybe they had their own civil wars, like they're about to have. Born. Wanting for a son. You are the very best of your mother. But you could be a great ruling queen. I call this Valarian. He's Lord of the Tides, okay. And that's as she is named by the old gods and the, the queen. Well, not yet the queen, but the heir to the throne. The Iron Throne is the most dangerous seat in the realm. It is. A lot of people, a lot of blood has been shed. Look at all those Promise swords showing just how much blood has been spilled for it. It's named heir, the Princess Rhaenyra. I swear this by the old gods and the new. Oh, that was his wife, yeah. Yeah, it must be a majestic feeling, touching a dragon. I, Orban Baratheon. Oh, the Baratheon! Okay. Where's the Starks, though? I haven't seen the Starks yet. Tell us that Egon looked across the Blackwater from Dragonstone, but ambition alone is not what drove him to conquest. Egon foresaw the end of the world of men. It is to begin with a terrible winter. I, Rickon Stark. Rickard Stark! There we go! I was wondering. So the Lord Rickard Stark. When this great winter comes, Runira, the Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. A king or queen. Strong enough to unite the realm against the cold. Yeah. The fire against the ice. Egon called his dream the Song of Ice and Fire. The Song of Ice and Fire. <laughs> the secret. Woo! Let's go, dude. I love this. I love this. Now you must promise to carry it. That's the dagger. Oh, that's the dagger that kills the Night King. When Arya uses it. Bah. Oh, shit. I love this, man. I love the way they type it in. Sarah's Targaryen. Did such a great job. Protector of the realm. You hear my name. Rhaenyra Targaryen. Heir to the Iron Throne. Woo. Let's go. Hightower seems pretty happy about it. I think that's why he sent Allison to try to influence him, push him towards that. Woo, man. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Man. You could tell that George R. R. Martin was involved with, with it a lot more this time. Especially right there at the end credit scenes. 100% you could tell that he was involved way, way more. <laughs> I don't blame him. After he saw the feedback that he got, all of that HBO and that he got from the ending of Game of Thrones, he was like, you know what? If we're going to do this prequel, we got to do it. Justice and it has to remain true to the source, which is the books that he wrote. And now I understand. I like that. I love that ending. Not just liked, I love that ending. Me encantó esa, ese fin. En la forma en que conectaron todo con la serie de Fuego de Tronos y esta serie de La Casa del Dragón. I loved it because now I get it. Now I understand. It wasn't just like how he said this for series. He said that. It wasn't just Aegon, right? I think he said, yeah, Aegon. It wasn't just the... It wasn't just because they saw land right for the taking and they decided to come here that it was a dream that he had, yeah. Like, basically a foretelling that as they were able to foresee the doom, the ending of Old Valyria before they came to Westeros, Aegon had a dream similar, similarly that let him see the winter that was coming. You know, the Night King 
who was the supreme leader and ruler of the White Walkers, which were the winter that was foretold in that dream that Egon had. And also in that dream, the only thing that, that was called, that he called a song of ice and fire, a reference to the books of uh, the book of George R. R. Martin. And that dream that he called in A Song of Ice and Fire foretold that winter that was coming. The White Walkers, the Night King, everything that we saw that happened at the end of Game of Thrones. It took a long time to build up to that, but <laughs> considering that it's this old, that uh, prophecy. But it makes sense, considering that the White Walkers were already around. They've been around since... Uh, the information I looked up, the age of the first men, so they've been around for a long, long time there in the lands of Westeros. And they were, I'm guessing they were prophesized, based on that prophecy, that Aegon had to be a force that was going to eventually take over the world. It was just going to keep on expanding, because it makes sense. It, people die, and then it could just bring them back to life and control them as White Walkers. So yeah, it's pretty hard to take on. It's basically zombies, that's what it is. It's George R. R. Martin's take on zombies. <laughs> But he gave it his own uh, unique twist to it. I liked it. I really liked it. And in order to prevent, like how he said, in order to prevent that, the prophecy also said that in order to prevent that from happening, H. R. Garrett had to be on the throne. And as we saw in Game of Thrones, that kind of was true, but not exactly. I don't know if that was a change that they did for the series, you know, just to make it end faster. We saw that Arya is the one that used that same dagger that was given to Renara at the end of this episode right here. That same dagger uh, is the one that Arya used. And she came across it. I forgot exactly how, because I only saw the series once. But she came across it at some point in the in Game of Thrones, and she kept it ever since. And that's what, she, that's what was used to kill the, uh, the Night King himself. Which he was the source, the heart, basically, of all the White Walkers. Without him, the White Walkers just, boom, couldn't be controlled. They couldn't be, uh, it couldn't be an animated anymore. And it makes sense why he gave it to Renara right now. With hopes that it would just keep on being held by Targaryen. But like we said, like I said, that didn't exactly happen in Game of Thrones. And it was with Arya doing that killing blow. But, but, to give credit to, the Targaryens, uh, their descendant, this uh, Daenerys, good old Danny, <laughs> the Mad Queen, who turned out to be the Mad Queen at the end, went a little mad. <laughs> she actually did end up helping, you know, she did help them uh, with her dragons, even though one of them was taken, killed and taken by the Night King, but it was her dragon that actually also helped. Uh, give them the edge, even though towards the end, it was still not enough, and Arya was needed to do the killing blow, but uh, Targaryen definitely was needed. Can't say it wasn't, it wasn't, because it was also her, one of her dragons, power, used by the Night King as an undead zombie <laughs> dragon, or White Walker sauce, a uh, dragon, I guess it would be right, to be able to use him and take down the, the wall. The wall that was in the north, so, you know. And then, yeah, the Targaryens definitely did play a huge role in the Song of Ice and Fire that happened later in Game of Thrones. But all in all, guys, all in all, I love this series, I really do. Well, I mean, not the series, I love this first episode. I really, really do. Me encantó este primer episodio de la serie de Casa del Dragón. And if you guys enjoyed it too, don't forget, don't forget to hit the like button, so that way you can be notified of every time that we upload a reaction. Not only me reacting to this series of House of, the, of House of the Dragon, but also for the boys, and also the other two reactions that me and my mother Ellie, your other host of this channel, have been reacting to and will continue to react to, which are Supernatural and The Witcher. Both, like I said in the beginning in the intro, both already have, we already have uh, the first first season uploaded for both series, the entire seasons, and we're currently reacting to and uploading the second season. So 
as long as you are subscribed with notifications enabled, don't forget to turn that on. You'll be notified, so don't worry. Con que estén suscribidos al canal con las notificaciones activadas es lo único que necesitan y así van a estar siempre notificados de todas las reacciones que vamos a estar subiendo a este canal. No solo para esta serie de Casa del Dragón, yo solo, pero también con su otro host, que es mi madre Edwin. Entonces, con que tengan esa campanita de notificaciones activadas, no se van a perder de ningún video en el futuro. Y también denle like al video para enseñarle mucho amor a nuestro canal. Y lo apreciamos mucho el tiempo que toman de su día para poder ver esta reacción. We really appreciate the time that you guys take out every day to see this reaction, guys. Until then, though, we'll see you guys next time. Nos veremos para el siguiente episodio de esta serie y las otras series también. Y que tengan un buen resto de su día. And that we hope that you guys have a very, very good rest of your day. We were Bye Lingo Reactions.